Tour operators need a healthy reef. But it's an iconic attraction. We don't want to lose confidence for people to visit. But the UN's heritage experts say the reef should be listed as in danger. I feel it would be premature to, if they did choose to do that, put it on an endangered list just now. This government is, as UNESCO themselves say, night and day compared with the previous government. Last year, the Morrison government narrowly avoided an in-danger listing, not by significantly improving protections, but via some clever politics. The reef is no longer on the in-danger list. After a whirlwind diplomatic tour, the World Heritage Committee overruled its scientific advisers and gave the reef a temporary reprieve. But they sent a monitoring mission in March, which would make fresh recommendations. This report has come from that visit and so within the report they've looked at what's actually happening with the Great Barrier Reef and what's the clear pathway that the governments can do to help protect it. Those recommendations included increasing climate targets in line with limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, better controls of sediment and fertiliser runoff and ending destructive net fishing. We are more committed than anyone to invest in and take action on protecting our reef. So in the last six months, it has done a lot more than the previous government did in its nine years in term, but it's not enough. The reef report will inform a draft decision on the endangered listing expected to be considered by the World Heritage Committee next year. Michael Slezak, ABC News.